what's up everybody, my name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to XCOM 2 the Valkyrie playthrough. Today we're gonna do Operation Have That Gold. It's a council mission, so very important as usual, but we uh, for once know what we need to expect. So there's supposed to be seven enemies on the field with a few robotic enemies in between. So uh, Sarah's um, blue screen rounds will be very, very useful there. On this mission we will be taking Sarah Klein, Lena Bauer, Christina Castro, Elena Dragonova, Erika Taylor, no, Jessica Taylor, and Heidi Hogan. So I keep I keep hesitating between Jessica and Erika, but it's Jessica Taylor and Erika Crawford. Here we go. So we need to capture or kill an enemy VIP. And I must say I do love that Elena's powered version of her armor is just sleeveless. That's so badass. Everybody in, in powered armor and she <laughs> shirt. Confirmed. Move to engage. Eliminate all hostile contacts. That looks creepy. So I'm guessing the seven enemies will be the base amount of enemies. Um, but since we're even concealed at the start, we need to be careful of a few things. There's of course going to be faceless again. Because that dark event is still active. It is quite far away, but we have 14 turns to do so, which seems enough for now. So uh, I'm going to move up and I'll see you guys when I spot enemies. Oh, and we have a short glimpse at what seems to be a purifier, the trooper and the mac. And they're talking about things. Our troopers are at least, or Valkyries, but I don't think we were spotted just yet, no. If I go through the window I'll probably do that, but uh, no need for any theatrics just yet, so let's just keep moving along. So next turn we can already see the effects of Elena, Elena's uh, abilities there. I uh, think that we get spotted, she said the time for hiding is over, but I don't feel like they spotted us just yet. Which is good, I think. But I think I'm gonna start it off with Elena's shot, because Elena has shredding on her vector, her, her Temnotic rifle. So that's gonna take out two of the armor of the mech. So let's do that first. Blammo! Shredding occurred, and then those two other guys are gonna start freaking out. And we're not revealed even, which is even better. They might reveal her now, uh, but apparently they didn't. They didn't really decide to move. So that's good for us, because that means that that 80% shot is still there. So let's fire away, away, fire away with Sarah. There we go. Mac down. The blue screen rounds are really, really nice. And now we get revealed. Okay, so that didn't reveal anybody of the squad. That's interesting. So we have a sniper rifle shot on the advanced purifier. I'm wondering... I don't have that eye on uh, Christina, but I do get a free pistol shot. So might as well start with that, 100%. Just to guarantee a kill. She looks really flashy in her uh, powered armor suit. And then just fire away with the sniper rifle. Kill ammo. Don't know, the wall moved already. So I'm guessing that was a hit. And we get a zombie. Not too bad. And we already blew open the wall to the building that we need to get the VIP from, apparently. Target identity confirmed. Menace one five. Remember, we're here to capture the VIP if possible. Knock them out and bring them in. So to capture the VIP, move a soldier to close range and use the subdue ability. Then carry the unconscious VIP to the evac zone. I don't know what we're talking about, because... Oh, there he is. With that, I don't know why the trooper already got hit. I mean, I didn't fire my pistol at him, did I? That's a bit weird. Um, but I can um, rend this guy. Although I could do the same with the zombie and then do the side wave backwards, but that might actually hit. None of that hits uh, Elena over there. So if I now rend the zombie from over here... Oh no, it doesn't. I might actually destroy the cover as well. I don't know how much damage this is going to do, but... Rend on the zombie. And... Slash. And we get extra psionic energy, so that's two points in one go. 
We can parry her in case anybody else moves along. And then we have... Could go with Heidi. Heidi is the easy solution here. Because um, her slash is probably gonna... Ooh, not guaranteed. Not guaranteed to kill. We might do one damage short. But I can definitely go in there with the shotgun and try my luck. But first things first, Jessica is a lower rank. So if I want to have her promote, might as well try this shot with her. 63% and that kills the trooper outright. Enemy down. Indeed he is. And then we can move along and give Heidi a closer position as well. And put it on Overwatch. There we go. Oh, there we go. It's been a while. Stand proud. There's the Warlock. So, immune to melee damage, reveals concealed units and regenerates lost health. But he takes increased damage from close range attacks and skirmishes. We don't have skirmishes, but we can definitely do, definitely do uh, close range Youth, damage. The Elder's greatest warrior. So no melee attacks, that's annoying, because that means that uh, Lena is not going to be able to do much. We just picked up a unique signature. One of the Chosen is here. That thing is only going to make trouble for us until we deal with it. But we did kill three enemies already, which means that there are only four more enemies aside from the Chosen himself. Meaning that we could rush in, grab the VIP and then move to over here, which is the extraction points. In 11 turns, we have turns enough. Plenty of turns. Uh, Elena is still in shadow, so I might use her to check this side of the building really quickly. I am you. If I look over here, we don't see anything. I would like to get sight on the Chosen there. So Christina is still on the rooftops. So if I put her over here, she might actually yeah, get sight on something in the next turn. For now, nothing, but uh, don't underestimate the side of a sharpshooter. Now, Lena is going to once again be our uh, subduer. So if I just go over here, I can grab the VIP in the next turn. So I'm going to push everybody forward as much as I can, uh, because otherwise we might get uh, in trouble if not everybody is close by to start shooting. Um, Christina can go into uh, Overwatch as well, and then maybe... I'm not going to be in cover, so I'm just going to wait for the next turn. So the Chosen is probably going to make a zombie. Okay. And that's one of the guys we just... Ooh. Is that... I think that's the... That's not supposed to be anybody here. Oh, watch out, because those zombies explode. Oh, please. Is that gonna... Oh, no. He needs to do that ability if he wants to explode. Okay, fine. How many did he make? I mean, they're dead, but he made two of them. And Sarah got a promotion out of that. That's really, really nice. That means she's our first girl, I think. Okay. Um, first things first. Let's get this VIP. Uh, punch him in the face. And uh, get him out of here. So, hi sir, you seem to be an enemy VIP, so I'm just gonna punch you in the face. With purple glowy fists. Uh, and confirmed. A... Target package in custody. Was that? Oh crap, that took an action, which is not that good. Um, so just keep moving Elena along, who is still in shadow. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Don't spot any other enemies just yet. So I don't know where those four remaining enemies are, which is uh, supposed to be probably a combination of some troopers and the Andromedon. But for now, let's not worry about that and just keep moving further. So there we go, moved everybody up further. Uh, most of them are going to be on Overwatch if I can. Even Christina over here. I could move her to the next roof, but for now, if anything comes along the side of the building... I want to have side on it. And because with Christina, that might actually be very, very nice. What was that supposed to be? Okay, that's even better because that's going to be right in Christina's sight line. Menace 1 5, we're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. So, let's pick up the VIP. 
And then we're gonna start scouting further with Elena. Um, so I could put Lena over here right next to the door, which I'm gonna do as a start. And then let's move to Elena. So we know there's gonna be stuff over here. Oh, this is gonna be a faceless. That's not good. Um, we still have the turns. I'm just gonna hold off on getting... Hmm... Elena any closer. I think Jessica can open up the door. Jessica, please open up uh, the door over here. And then she can move... Even if I go over here, I might actually trigger the... Uh, the faceless. I'm gonna try, but I'm pretty sure that's gonna trigger the faceless. Or not. Okay. As long as we can do that, that's fine. Um, I'm gonna put... Ooh, I can't put Sarah in the position of... Hmm. Now that I think about it, the extraction point is over here. So I would need to go out the other door, but I don't know where the other four enemies are. So for now, let's just move along. So I've put Sarah in a better position, because I think I want to actually check one of the towers. That doesn't seem like one of the towers, but okay. Let's go hack that thing. Because if there's a, a nice bonus in there for us, might as well check it out. So, soldier aim increased by 15 and crit chance increased by 25 for two turns. For three turns. But only for this soldier. Or for the entire squad. That would be nice, but it's 50 50, so I'm gonna go for the 97% chance. Ah, uh, we would have gotten the 50 as well. Her hack score is pretty high at the moment. So there we go, increases the stats of Sarah for this one mission for three turns. And she gets the green arrow next to her name as well, since she has boosted stats right now. Um, Heidi can go closer as well, and then I think we're good to go. If I put Christina on Overwatch... Uh, yeah, Lena can't really do anything. I could move her a little bit further. Uh, but I think I need to move her to this door anyway. So let's put her completely in safety over there while she's stumbling along. And then uh, Elena, I can't risk moving her because of that faceless. Just want to take care of the other guys that's gonna, that are going to spawn first. And there we go. We get another purifier, a trooper and a mech. No problem. We dealt with this before. Uh, and they're gonna get fired upon. Like, heavily. Yeah, okay, he's walking through his buddy there, but... Is the purifier gonna get hit or the trooper? None of them, because she misses completely. Fine. That's also her last... Uh, she only has one more bullet left, if I'm not mistaken. That's another miss. But we do get a shotgun blast on the... Is that the purifier? Yeah. Hard target. Minimal damage. So the mech goes into overwatch. Um, but we can again fire at the mech first. I don't know if the... The warlock is going to come closer. Be advised. Hostile interceptors are inbound on your current position. Firebrand has a limited window to provide extraction. So we still have eight turns. My power proceeds me wherever I go. Uh, and then we just fire at the mech. Uh, that is probably going to trigger us, but don't really care at this point. There we go. Mech shredded, Overwatch removed, and we're not revealed. That is nice. Okay. Um, our grenades are not going to do anything, I think. Uh, if I fire there... I could, actually. That's going to remove his final bit of armor. But even with that, I only got a bit of damage spread out. So let's keep that for later. Um, Heidi. Heidi could actually just go and kill whoever she wants. But I'm going to trigger the faces in a second. So, let's see our sniper rifle shots. 84, 84, 64. So I think 84 on the purifier is going to take him out of the equation just really, really simply. So, yeah, bye. Nice explosion as well to boot. 
And that gives her an ability point. I could move Jessica up and see what happens. That's not really a problem. Because I want to see if the face this reacts to that. I'm going to assume... Oh crap, that's less good. That's less good. That's definitely not good. Okay, so now she's completely flanked. Because we were looking at the wrong thing. Um, I have another action with Christina. That is interesting. Um, probably because of the hair trigger. I just want to put her down then. Because um, she's going to need to get uh, into the fight immediately. Especially with her pistol. She might do some, uh, some nice damage there. So I still can't see anybody. Uh, but if I reload... I will be able to do something in the next turn. But we are in trouble. We're definitely in trouble. I could put down the... Ah, that might be something. I could put down the uh, VIP. And then I can melee on one of those guys from the back. Because they don't know we're here yet. The only problem with that is that I'm going to have to kill basically everything else. Because uh, Lena is only going to be able to take one shot there. Um, let's see. So rend on that lance. I can even do that from here, which is ridiculous. But um, yeah, that is completely ridiculous. How? So she only has one action, so I can... Oh, I could actually open up the door. Because that doesn't take an action, if I recall. Uh, so now if we rent, I couldn't even reach that one if I wanted to. Oh, because the VIP is now in the way of the door. Okay. So rent is going to have to be. So it does 9 damage and that Lance is going to die in one hit. So there we go. You will pay the price. I think that counts as a wall hack. And that gives us full focus. And that actually did quite a bit of damage on the uh, Andromedon there. Um, now, Sarah is in a bit of a pickle. I don't think the Andromedon counts as a robotic unit just yet. No, it doesn't. So I'm going to move her out. If I can, because right now we're, we're in really big trouble. Um, so I'm going to put Heidi over here. I think we're going to have to play with bond action just a little bit. Heidi over here, which puts her in a flanking position. Oh, crap. I completely forgot about that one. Um, but. Adva advanced. Advanced troop. You know what? If I kill the advanced trooper. You're right. You're right. I don't have a problem. Because Heidi's going to be invincible. For this turn. Because uh, now I'm blackable. So that doesn't really matter. Um, momentum move available, which is good. I'm going to parry. Then Jessica should probably focus on the Mac. Although she's not in a great position at the moment either. If I put Sarah over here, she might actually get her shot at killing the Mac. I can't see the Mac. It's 95% chance. I might kill it, might not. There we go. Critical. It's down. So that's the mech down. Um, and then that's basically all we have. I'm going to pull Jessica back. Because otherwise she's going to get hit. Um, and Heidi is going to be basically invincible. If I recall correctly. So implacable, you are guaranteed a bonus move. And if you... Yeah, it's only the next attack. So... I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm just gonna end my turn. There's nobody else available. End turn. There is nowhere to hide. So that's that. I think he's gonna probably go for Lena. But Lena is... Carrying all of that. Ooh. They, would try to shake my confidence. they did remove the cover. So I think... She might get it show that now. Oh no, that's Overwatch. Okay, great. Now we're fine. Because Heidi is invincible as well. Untouchable. 
Uh, aside from the, the warlock, of course. Oh, crap. Does he have a gun? The rage grows as my kin allow themselves to fall at the hands of your meager forces. You've got the chosen in rage. Let's take it out. Fight, Scorch. Okay. Dazed. But dazed is not a problem. I can fix dazed. Which is good. I can fix dazed. We, need to snap them out of it. we will, Bradford. We will. Uh, there's a, just a few, a few problems that we need to deal with. Let's see. I am going to amplify on the, um, yeah, the Andromedon. I don't know if that ends my turn. It might. If it does, it doesn't. That's good. That's really good. Because now I can rent. The Faceless has 10 health. Um, where is... Yeah, so Heidi is over there. If I rent... Like this, does that actually ignore Heidi there? I'm not exactly sure. Let's run like this. I hope that doesn't hit Heidi. Oh crap, I forgot about the Overwatch. That's a miss. That's a miss. There's another civilian over there, by the way. Okay, so that did 9 damage, but didn't kill the Faceless. Good. And it did hit the trooper in the back as well. So I still have momentum available, but... I can do that again. Um, so I'm going to give one of my actions to Lena. There we go. And then I can still fire with Elena herself, which is going to be on the Andromedon, removing its armor. Because it's amplified as well. Two more amplified hits available. And we're revealed, of course. Finally. Then. Jessica. I think we could use Jessica. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. Sarah can go right up next to this wall. Oh, that's running. Crap. First things first. Let's do Christina. Christina. Is that... Face this in cover? I don't think he is, right? So if I put Christina over here... She should have a lightning reflex shot. Oh, she doesn't. That's annoying. Okay. Lena can go and rent the trooper like this. If she rents the trooper like this, I think it also kills the faceless. So there we go. I will tear you apart. Oh, I love Templars. There we go. Double kill. Double kill. And that momentum, we can just parry. Parry everything. Um, let's see. So we still have a shot at the Andromedon. And it would shred his remaining armor. But 84%, I feel that's fine. Because that also means we still have the remaining shot from Sarah. There we go. Andromedon waking up again. This isn't good, but I need to put Sarah over here. Okay. That still gives us sight on the Andromedon, but first up, revive. She is disoriented though. That's not good as well. I could try hack protocol. Com uh, combat protocol. No, haywire protocol. And the Amplify doesn't actually keep working. That's also interesting. I'm going to attempt to seize it. So 41% to take temporary control of this unit. Otherwise, its aim and defense stats will increase. You know what? No. I think I have a better chance of just firing at it with the blue screen rounds. Because the blue screen rounds might actually disable it as well. So let's pull that back. And then fire the 100% shot on the Andromedon shell. Oh, hack defense decreased now. Uh, I could fire at it. Ooh, I could. There we go. <laughs> and then because of untouchable, un untouchable, untouchable, I'm actually going to move it over here just to make it a giant targeting disc. 
uh, and move Christina up as well because she doesn't have any uh, any shots anyway. There we go. That actually went pretty well. Ooh, double trooper on the field. That's interesting. I have sight beyond vision. And mind control. Nice try. Ah, he missed. He missed. Okay. But that means that with Lena, we can do some more rending. Ah, <laughs> oh, rend is so overpowered. Um, I'm even going to try and hit the... Yeah. Because I don't know if that counts as a melee attack. Let's check that out. So rend... Um, oh, not rend. 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 Over there. Yeah. If I do that over here, it hits him in the back there. Although, you know what? Can I just amplify the damage on the Warlock? I can. Let's do that amplified. first. Amplify. Amplified. And then rend uh, from the other side. Although, I mean, it's probably better to do this, right? But I can have uh, some really nice shots on those guys. Although, I, I want to see if it does damage the Warlock now. If that wave counts as a melee attack as well. It doesn't. So six damage. And now we can put it right in the middle there with a parry. Okay. Um, I don't feel like Lena, Elena is going to be able to do much. Aside from maybe throw the shrapnel, the claymore grenade. But Jessica moving up. On target position now. Could I toss a grenade all the way across there i can and that removes the cover of the uh, warlock as well and probably his armor so that's gonna take out all of those guys i don't know where she's gonna shoot that but it seems like it's gonna go straight through the wall again or over it that's also up yeah that seems perfectly viable there we go loot destroyed off oh, god damn it that actually gives me the idea. I should probably use um, Elena to move over here and get the loot. And we might actually be able to pick up the, the VIP with her as well then. Ooh, Elitium Core, Alien Data Cache and an Advanced Stock. Don't mind if I do. I can't pick up the VIP, so I'm going to have to do that in the next turn. I don't want to expose her too much. Sarah can actually go up to the window here, and that gives her a nice shot on, you know, the, the bad guy, the warlock. Was that a faceless? Doesn't seem like it is. And I'm just gonna keep firing away at the warlock. That was not, the window didn't break there. 10 damage on the warlock. Then Heidi. Heidi is still disoriented, but even with disorientation, she does pretty well for herself. So let's move her over here. Give her a, giving her a flanking shot on the trooper, which might actually kill him. There we go. Oh, and that's a zombie. That's not good. We got implacable, though. Um, could fire at the zombie. 96% shot, definitely. There we go. Take out the zombie with Christina. So we don't need to worry about that. So only the Warlock is still alive. Extra move available. I could put it a bit closer. But it's not going to change much, is it? Yeah, let's just move her a little bit closer. And that's that. Now the Warlock is good, probably going to run away. Yeah, he's... He's a bit of a scaredy cat. Mind Scorch again, but does that parry as well? Oh, it does. Okay. Wait, why did that move to... I felt like that moved to... That looked like it moved... Okay, disorientation removed, but something happened. Hmm. That was weird. So let's put... Uh, her over here. I go where you tell me. 
don't know if anything happens. No, it doesn't. So let's put the claymore through the wall pretty clearly inside over there. So that should destroy his cover yeah. if it's destroyed. I don't know if that actually landed over there because it looked like it didn't. I think I can um, revive Lena with Sarah. Like this. So let's revive her. And she's disoriented. Is that still loot? Because it looks like it's still there, but... Let's do combat protocol on the Warlock. Everybody's out in the open, I'm fully aware. I don't know where the drone came from over there, but... Uh, zap. Amplify ended, okay. I could probably reapply it with Lena. Since Lena can't really do anything, um, I'm going to reload Heidi over here. I can't get close enough for a running gun, but I can shoot the Claymore, which is exactly what I'm going to do now. Boom! That's a damage. So I need one more solid hit on the Warlock and he's toast. Sadly, I can't see through the building. Elena only has her pistol, and that's not going to finish him off. Amplify doesn't work because of the... Oof. Yeah, I'm going to have to pull her back. For some reason, I can't pull her back over here, which is annoying, because I want to grab that extra focus. But let's put it over here. Can't put Christina close enough either, so I'm going to have to uh, move up a little bit. Sarah is wide out in the open right now, but the last thing I'm going to do is just flashbang the warlock because i just don't have the uh the turns to actually take him out completely so let's flash the warlock so that should disable at least a few of his abilities ah oh, he's immune he's immune to getting flashed i mean he's not immune to explosives god damn it that's annoying burning why is he burning? No place for you to go now. Spectral zombies. And he puts himself in stasis, it looks like. So those guys are moving in, but... That's not a problem. I'd love to be a redeemed warlock. I'd love to. But for now, I I'm just going to try and kill every zombie you just put on the field. Because that's just going to delay things a little bit. Um, let's reload Elena. And then put her... No, I can actually just fire at her probably. There we go. Yep. Bye. Okay, that didn't kill it. That didn't kill it. Let's reload Jessica as well. There we go, she, she gets a shot in return, and that's a 48% shot, so not really that good. But Heidi could actually just go over here and then just shotgun it in the face. That will give her implacable and um, untouchable. Goodbye. 13 damage on a 6 damage, uh, 6 health unit, that was a bit overkill. Uh, but there we go, implacable. And then... 100% shot with a pistol for lightning reflexes. There we go. And then we can use Christina to actually move up. Oh, he actually loses that. Okay, that turns into a face as I don't really care about that. He's on the other side of the map. Why should I worry about that? No, 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 no problem at all. Um, I'm going to put Christina over here. And then I can probably get a pistol shot. 54 is in the lot. Don't know who else is available. Um, I'll put Lena over here. She'll get the extra focus. She doesn't for some reason, probably because she's disoriented. Um, I don't really have a good alternative. I could... Combat protocol him again, but that's not going to help. 
So let's just put Sarah in full cover and reload her. I don't think she has an auto loader, no. Um, I could get closer to the Warlock. But with her untouchable, that doesn't really matter at this point. Um, so those are the only people we have left. So pistol overwatch shot. Cannon overwatch shot. Implacable. I could move a, a little bit closer. It doesn't really matter at this point. There we go. And then fire just with the pistol. Yeah, just fire with the pistol. There we go. Out the window. Flammo. She misses him, but the car is going to explode. Was that meant for me? It was meant for you, Warlock. I'm sad that it missed. I don't know what that pigeon is doing. <laughs> Can you guys see the pigeons in the middle of the screen? <laughs> don't know what he's doing there. Uh, another... Ooh, Jesus! Okay. He missed. Is the unconscious the, the, the disorientation removed? It could be. I think it is. Yeah, no longer disorient. And the car explodes. Don't know why he's kept standing there, because now he's definitely going to die. So, either by Heidi's hand or somebody else's. Uh, we should probably extract that VIP, right? I, I think we should. Um, there we go. There we go. Goodbye. Executed. There we go. Five ability points. For killing a chosen. That's always nice. I really like that bonus. People are wiped clean from this world. These trivial defeats I have suffered at your hands will be all but forgotten by the elders. Great job, Commander. But there's no trace of that chosen left. I've got a feeling we haven't seen the last of them. Still, at least we ruined their plans today. So I'm going to use Heidi since she has the most movement speed um, to get the VIP to where he needs to be. So I guess I'll see you guys at the extraction point. But yeah, I forgot about that faceless. He's coming. Very, very slowly, but he is coming. Running now? I don't think he'll even reach anybody. Oh yeah, I got a few overwatch shots. There we go, six damage. It's a good start. Anybody else? I think Sarah also had an overwatch shot, but apparently he's not close enough for that. Okay, I'll just shoot him in the face and then we'll get on to uh, the extraction point. You know what, Elena, can you finish what you started, please? There we go. Your friends will join you soon. See you at the extraction point. <laughs> and there we go, everybody in the extraction zone, and we'll just uh, evac them. Really, really careful. Again, I don't want to mispress this, because if anything else suddenly appears, I might be in trouble. But right now, it seems like a... Okay. Can I... Okay. Never mind. Use the correct buttons. There we go. Evac. And evac. There we go. Flawless mission, I think. I don't think we ever got hit. We got disoriented a few times. But, uh, Warlock defeated. And flawless. There we go. 21 enemies down. That was actually pretty hefty for... I mean, we started out thinking there were only going to be 7 enemies, but because of all the zombies and the faceless, that actually turned out to be 21. There we go. And there we go. Another successful mission with, uh, of course, some of our best uh, Valkyries. But still, even the, the lower rank guys really did really, really well. Girls, of course. If we wish to destroy them permanently. So Sarah promoted to Colonel, our first one. So Restoration, the Gremlin flies to each squad member, healing or reviving them as needed. Um, or Capacitor Discharge, it emits a substantial electric discharge, damaging and potentially stunning all nearby units and robotics. Enemies take more damage. Both of them are really good. Um, but I think healing-wise... We should go for that first. Uh, with the ability points, we can actually take both of those. Which is gonna come in handy. But for now, Restoration is the most important one. Then we have Christina. And I think we get Face Off. Yes. Fire once at every visible enemy with your pistol. So Face Off. Definitely. That's gonna be so awesome. Um, then Jessica. Our Grenadier gets a, a promotion as well. Demolition or Suppression. Again, I think we need to go for Demolition. Um, 
destroying cover is what I do best, uh, what I like to do, uh, to increase the aim of our soldiers. And yeah, that seems like the best option to me always. And then Heidi, Heidi actually got a promotion as well. So either rapid fire, fire twice in a row at an enemy, uh, or a devastating chain melee attack, where the first melee attack cannot miss. Each melee kill in Reaper mode grants an extra action, but further melee attacks have reduced damage. So we could use Reaper to technically finish people off. And since we're going with the Blade Master route for her anyway, I want to do that because there's an important reason for this. We also forgot to check the loadout of our ladies. Because remember last time, we actually finished the research into the assassin weapons and I never equipped them on Heidi. And Heidi, with that sword, could be very, very cool. We need to upgrade the sword anyway. So let's continue this. We have an Illyrium Core advanced stock and an alien data cache, and we captured ourselves a dude, Derek Ellis. You have done an outstanding job leading the resistance, Commander. Thank you, Council. So 114 intel and 214 supplies. Always very, very welcome. So that gets us back up to 220 supplies. But, but, before I forget, let's check in the soldier tab here. And Heidi's loadout, please. Let me see that. So the shotgun could actually be replaced placed by the Arashi. So the Arashi actually does two damage on top of the shotgun. Well, it's actually just one because we already had the upgrade with the magnetic weapons. Seems like it is going to be weaker than the plasma variant then. But... It has a 7 clip size because of the expanded magazine, superior laser sight, increasing the critical hit chance and improving even further with proximity to the target, a superior hair trigger, 15% that it will not cost an action and a superior stock, so if we miss, we deal 3 damage. So it's just been extremely upgraded. So that's definitely gonna be our shotgun now, look at that. <laughs> that's just ridiculous. And then the swords, now does 3 to 5 damage, but the katana does 8 to 9 does extreme damage and cannot miss or be dodged and armor piercing. Five armor piercing. Yeah, I think um, Heidi is unstoppable now. <laughs> this is just awesome. Okay, um, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. That's all I, I want to say about this. That is just so awesome. So I think what we need now is an experimental powered weapon. We have one more core. Um, we did make most of the other suits, aside from the raid suit, not just yet. But I feel like either ammo, grenades or powered weapons should be the focus, because we really don't have those extra items right now. But experimental powered weapon it is. Sounds good, Commander. I'll let you know as soon as the project is ready for deployment. We don't have an engineer here just yet, and I'm wondering if we need to move a few things around, because the infirmary don't, doesn't really need an engineer at the moment. So let's remove Zoe King out of here and put her in the proving grounds. There we go. That's good. Then, 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 then. That workshop is going to be very, very handy indeed, because then we can spread out those robots towards the resistance ring, the proving ground, the resistance combs down there, and the infirmary without ever needing to do something. I apparently have a bond I can still do or improve a bond. So Hilda and Erika Crawford should have done that immediately. But they'll go to level 2. That's really good. And then we can go to the bridge and continue scanning wherever we were scanning. I think it was up north somewhere. And we do get more intel as well. So we were going for that extra scientist. Ooh. Fully operational resistance. They'll be ready to get back into it. I think that means we have full... Uh, affinity with all resistance factions. So we located the stronghold. They all got some uh, experience. Nobody got captured, but Emily got a little bit wounded, but she did get an increase in her dodge by six. Which is good. So we can reduce the turns of debilitating effects by one. And Lisbeth got a promotion. But let's first assign a new covert action. Let's go with the warlock next. Uh, I don't have anything urgent right now uh, and we still have one reduce avatar project progress uh, action we can do so i think we should go with the chosen warlock so we can actually start that mission whenever we want 
So let's... Ooh, we do need a major for that. That is gonna be problematic. I'm gonna wait with that. It's just too bit, too much of a, a risk to do that now. So you know what? I'm gonna fabricate a, a PCS. It's not for the PCS per se, but there's a soldier that's gonna get a promotion out of this. And if we can get somebody who's pretty far away from a promotion, I think Christina just got a promotion. I do take away my best sharpshooter if I do that. Although Lisbeth also just got a promotion. Or... We can force a ranger to be promoted, although we don't really have any more rangers. Jessica got a promotion just now, so I'm just going to take Jessica. And then an extra soldier. Going to go pretty low for this one. i um, just going to grab Paula as well. And then negate the risk with 25 intel. We have plenty of intel, so let's just do that. There we go. We will begin Confirm that covert action. Now, I had that promotion for Lisbeth. And since I didn't put her on that mission, I can actually do that right now. So promotion as a sharpshooter, death from above or quick draw. Killing an enemy at a lower elevation with your sniper rifle costs only a single action and does not end your turn. I think it's not that useful. Because as long as you can't fire, although you get that ability later on, of course. Let's do death from above. I don't want to make her a full sniper. Guys, I think there's an ability that actually allows you to fire on your second turn with the sniper rifle later on. Um, that's that, so let's continue scanning. And now we get our resistance communication. Leading the resistance is a daunting task, Commander. But your efforts so far have left many wondering if we have made the right approach. We will have to do better. Are you freaking serious? Yeah, the Avatar project has progressed, but we did a lot. We completed a guerrilla operation, a council mission, a supply raid, and contacted the region. We also investigated three rumors, researched five technologies, completed four covert actions, and four proving ground projects. So I don't know what he's talking about. It won't be long now, for your secrets flow to me as easily as the Elder's blessed power. Beastmaster. That's annoying. Okay, so they've increased their training and the Warlock can now summon beast allies, which sounds bad. Um, we still have left behind available and then advanced sealed armor, immune to environmental hazards. That's actually not that bad. But the next retaliation strike is imminent, which is annoying. Uh, let's see if we can't work around this a little bit. So resource rewards, I still need that. But I'm going to put that uh, over here with the Templars now. Everything else. So I think I want ballistics modeling. I want to go for the plasma rifles in the next month. So that means that I'm going to have to um, have that speed sped up. Um, resistance contacts. Yes, I'm definitely going to do that this month as well. I want to spread out the network as much as possible. And with that workshop coming in, that's going to be really, really nice to do. Everything else is basically fine. Soldier XP and resource rewards are really, really nice. And everything else, yeah, I'm just going to keep it like this. We'll do as we're told. And then the supplies, we can grab that as well. Ignoring it for now might be risky. I want to grab those supplies while, we're, while we can. If I lose that scientist, that's not a problem. And there we go. The retaliation site is there. Let's check it out. Eleven enemies with chrysalids, elite officers, purifiers, troopers, and advanced priests. That's actually not bad. And probably the hunter. But that's actually not bad. We can deal with all of that rather easily. For sector seven, Western Europe. And since Hilda and Erica are back, we might as well use them. Because I fear that the Avatar project is going to be increasing next as well. Which means that we're going to be in uh, big trouble. But I need to build some items first because I got some, uh, some supplies. So first thing I want to make is a Mimic Beacon. It's a good backup for if anything goes wrong. And then um, I might as well do an EMP bomb. But for now there's no robotic enemies so that's not a problem. I could upgrade the arc blade, but I don't want to. Uh, maybe the enhanced shadow keeper. That might actually be, be nice. I'm just gonna do that. Because uh, that does more damage than I would suppose. 
So Christina is still on the team. Definitely with face off, that's going to be really nice. But I'm going to edit her a little bit because I want to give her that pistol. So if I can, yeah, there we go. Enhanced Shadow Keeper. It actually does the same amount of damage and has the increase for the magnetic weapons. But it's guaranteed to hit. And if the target is killed, the shooter gains concealment. <laughs> Holy crap. Um, that is really, really nice. This one is sighted in. There's no excuse for missed shots. Indeed. So that's going to be very nice. Um, and I think, other than that, I'm just going to check the loadout of the other Valkyries here and select who we're going to play with. And there we go, the war suit on Marina. Our armor, the war suit. This is as tough and strong as we can make it, with plenty of power for handling heavy weapons. And it also gets that holographic wall ability, if I'm not mistaken, because that's what she was doing. Yeah, the shield wall ability, allowing the wearer to temporarily act as high cover for squad mates. Everything else is upgraded. I don't have any fancy heavy weapons just yet. Uh, and I think I might actually grab the frost bomb again. There we go. And then the plasma grenades. And there we go. This is going to be the team for Operation Goldsteed, our uh, next retaliation mission. So Sarah Klein, again, we give her the blue screen rounds and the med kit. Then Erica Crawford, who's using a grenade and the tracer rounds. And is going to be very, very nice as our long range uh, sniper. Because even she got the stock as well, the one we got from the, the last mission. And she's going to do damage on missed shots even. And Christina has the body armor and the dragon rounds, which means that all her pistol shots also do burn damage. And that's going to be really nice in combination with face off. Then Marina got the war suit with the frost bomb and a plasma grenade. Then Lena just has a plasma grenade as usual. And then Hilde got the mimic beacon just as a precaution. And of course, another skull jack. So that's the, the squad for next time. For that, we're going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. I hope to see you guys in the next episode of XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough. Goodbye.